Patrick McNeil back here with you at the intermission. It's time now for part two of our 10 questions with Eagles defenseman Zach Bigger. Zach, what is your favorite post-game meal? I would say it's different a lot of times. Sometimes it's just quick and easy wings or whatever the billets really have. I don't really have any preference for that. I'm not I'm not too picky with that stuff. So whatever they really have at home, what I eat. I can't remember what player it was said this earlier in the year, but it sounds like this is your answer, is whatever's on the counter. Yep, that's pretty much it. Perfect billet to have then, low maintenance. What is Zach's favorite color? I would say blue or red. Blue is a very common answer. Red might be the second common answer. It makes sense. Those are staple colors. Yeah. What sport are you best at other than hockey? I used to be pretty good at baseball when I was growing up. It was always baseball and hockey. I played some high levels in ball and had some fun experiences there, so I'd say baseball. I feel like that's a common answer for the guys from PEI. I like to ask the guys questions about when they were younger to test their memory. So I'm going to ask you a PEI-specific question, and you might be too young because I'm not sure when the rules changed on this. Does Zach Bigger have any memories of the plastic bottle ban in PEI and there only being glass bottles? Does this ring any bells to you at all? That does not ring a bell with me, no. <laughs> okay, well, there you go. For the historians there, Zach was too young to remember. There used to be a time you couldn't get cans and plastic bottles in PEI. Everything had to be in glass, but I guess that was literally before your time. Yeah, it was a little bit before my time, I'd say. <laughs> I remember around the time you would have been bored, it was still a thing, so that's why I asked, but it must have been not too long after that they changed those rules. If you had the opportunity to go to either a theme park or a water park, which would you rather go to? What time of the year are we talking about here? <laughs> oh, good question. We'll say August. I'll go water park. Wouldn't be too fun in January, though, I'm guessing. No, yeah, no. Down the slides. <laughs> I like to ask the guys this one as well. What is something you like or do that people would not expect from a hockey player, either an interest you have or something that you regularly do? I don't know how off the board it is, but I like to read a lot. I like to read okay. books. Any particular favorites? I like the sports ones. I just read a book about Corey Hirsch and the stuff he went through in his career, so that was a pretty good read. I finished it in a few days. I was so interested. So Not as much now, but definitely love reading hockey books when I was younger. There's no doubt about that. What is your earliest memory of using social media? First thing you remember about social media as a kid. I'd say Facebook. When I'd see my mom posting about me when I was pretty young, I guess. <laughs> she'd show me her Facebook post she was putting on and asked me if it was okay. Good that she asked you then. Your whole life is documented. You get traded to Cape Breton recently, of course. When you get traded to the Eagles, who's the first person to message you, whether it was Facebook, text, Instagram, etc.? First person welcoming you to Cape Breton. It was either Connor Shortle or Cam Squires. I can't remember who it was, but they both texted me as soon as I got traded saying, it's welcome to the team. I knew them a little before, so they were pretty excited, and so was I, so that was good. Other than the number you wear, what number would you like to wear with the Eagles? Growing up, I always liked number seven, so seven's probably my go-to. Retired in Cape Breton, of course. He wanted the opportunity to wear that. Does Zach have a favorite type of car that he'd like to own? I always want a truck, to be honest, but they're pretty pricey. Hard on gas nowadays, too. Yeah, there is a financial concern there at the moment. There's no doubt about that. Thanks for letting us get to know you a bit, Zach. Best of luck the rest of the season. Yeah, thanks a lot, Patrick. That is Eagles defenseman Zach Bigger joining us here at the intermission for 10 questions. You're listening to Cape Breton Credit Union, Eagles Hockey, 1270 CJCD.